Well, greetings, everyone, and welcome to a quick episode of Tim Time where we're driving across the state of Pennsylvania. And I have my driver here. He's driving Miss Daisy. That is Kevin. He's he's like Steve 2.0, like how Steve was Chris 2.0. That's Kevin. He's Steve 2.0. So uh, I'm going to show you some looks out the window, and you can watch as we drive across the state here. Okay, and we can tune in when there's something more exciting to watch here. We're on Interstate 80, which is at the 127.8 mile marker, which is somewhere in Pennsylvania. Uh, and, and 80 runs, well, obviously it's not a... Uh, lesson here, but 80 runs all the way across the United States, and we're lucky enough to have it run right through Pennsylvania here. And um, as you can see, winter time in Pennsylvania, somebody comes around and takes all the leaves off the trees, and they store them away until springtime. So there, there's really no green. There's not a lot to look at, and it, it is a gray day, which only adds to the the excitement. But um, yeah, so I'd imagine we have to be near, we got to be near Clinton County, would you say? Somewhere at the 120, we're going we're gonna to see what Google has to tell us where we're at. But uh, we'll periodically check in and if there's anything interesting to see, uh, we can go and, and let you know. Now, I know it starts, 80 starts, when it starts in Pennsylvania is, uh, well, obviously the zero mile marker, uh, and that would be right around Mercer County somewhere. And then we're gonna shoot all the way across to Northumberland County. So we'll be back if anything exciting happens. All right, so to clear it up a little bit, we're, I guess we're closer to Center County. We're not quite not to uh, Clinton yet, so. We'll just keep be bopping around. Kevin's driving Mr. Daisy. So we're looking, uh, we're looking for big trucks too. You know, it's always fun to watch the big trucks. We saw a couple of big tow trucks back there. Those big monsters that cost a lot of money to pull out of the garage. All right, we just went by the Lock Haven exit, so I'll give you an idea where we're at. We're checking in here again. We're at the 178 mile marker, and uh, again, it still looks pretty, pretty barren out here. It looks a lot nicer when the trees are green. It's a lot of farmland out here, so. Ah! There's not really much to see right now. Not even any corn or anything left. But the, the mountains of Pennsylvania, uh, definitely a hilly mountain estate. brush or trees but well not now there's a hillside but you could see uh there's a house down in there and uh, i could see a, a run or a creek that ran along alongside there's a little road down in there too as you can see a little access road or what do they call them but probably this highway took the place up years ago that was probably 80 down there when you crossed it on horse and buggy Marginal road. That's the road I was trying to. The name I was trying to think of. A marginal road. I had a lot of old timers used to say that about uh, the highways. 
when a new highway was built and say, oh, the marginal road. And I guess that's the road that used to run where the highway now runs. But you can't really see much down there again. Let's see, the sun's starting to come up a little bit. We got a little bit of sun poking its head through the holes in the clouds. And you can see the hills ahead. And we're passing White Deer Township at the 200 mile marker. And you can see Williamsport is 27 at Milton. Williamsport's for the uh, Little League Hall of Fame, is right? Little League World Series. Little League World Series, I'm sorry. Alright, so here we are at the Chicolami State Park by Sunbury, PA, which is in Northumberland County. And, uh, this is the West Susquehanna, I believe. Is that Sunbury? The West Branch of the Susquehanna? and the main branch of the Susquehanna. This must be where they come together. It's a nice little park. People down here for a walk. It's a little bit windy. I hope the wind's not taking everything away from my cabin rain. See, it turns up new every day. All right, we're on 80 in the pouring, uh, in the drizzle. We're on the 111 exit. Well, we just went by the highest point on Interstate 8. Interstate 80. Do you remember what it was? East, I think 2280. 2280. So that's the highest point east of the Mississippi. And I, I think on this road. On this road. Okay, we're on 80. We already covered that part. But uh, 2280 is what he believes what it was. Good amount of traffic on the road today. Everybody traveling in the rain. So unfortunately there's not more exciting things to show you pictures of. But a truck with flashing lights coming on, probably an oversized load or something. And we were at 2,045 feet above sea level, I would imagine. <laughs> uh, we saw the sign in, in the rearview mirror as we went past. All right, we're on 350, uh, heading toward Bald Eagle, but we won't probably make that before we get off. But uh, just looking at look at the, the all around you, the density of the the trees you know again there's no leaves on them but you can imagine here in the spring and summertime everything is uh, pretty thick I think we're coming up with some houses or modular homes or a trailer or something up here the road is a little bit of a mountain coming up here this is called summit crest is the name of the road so I guess summit be yeah. Just to give you an idea of the fog here at the top of the hill, We're behind a dry uh, road maintenance truck there. All right, now there's fog. Yeah, it's it's around 10 o'clock in the morning, but it looks a lot earlier than that because of the fog. But the beautiful mountains of central Pennsylvania. Now, so we are going to take the Bald Eagle exit. We, we did see an, an eagle just a few minutes ago flying in the air, uh, but there's Bald Eagle Park down here. It's a state park, and they have a hotel or a motel kind of thing at the end of it. Uh, and it's all nature -y, a very nice place if you ever get down here and take a look through. They have a, I don't know, what river or lake would that be that runs through there? I guess that's a lake. Bald Eagle Lake. Bald Eagle Lake. But it's a real nice area. It's in uh, probably Center County, I would think. Are we in Center yet? In Pennsylvania. Center of the state, anyhow. So. All right, and now we're on 99. Route 99. This will take us up to uh, Interstate 80. And there's Bald Eagle and Phillipsburg. Well, that's not a Bald Eagle. It's just a sign that says Bald Eagle. All right, I got an update. Route 45, and I, I can remember back in the dark ages of time, going up to State College and being on Route 45. Um, probably looks a lot different, but uh, anyhow, that's that's the route, and uh, you can see the there's a stream over there that's all. Uh, it's hard to see. There's a stream on the other side of the road that is all kind of overrun because of all the rain we're having. All right, so we're back on the ride home. We're just outside of Huntington, Pennsylvania on some road. 
and uh, see the the clouds a little bit low in the sky over there and can't get around the mirror to see but uh, kind of another gray day but at least there's a little bit of rain that explains the grayness so we'll probably hit rain pretty much the rest of the way west on when we get up to 80.